evening, boys and girls. Me and Mrs. Tony Ridge, she's over here tying her shoes up. We're going outside to get some farm work done. So come on along. We're going to have a little bit of fun today. We got a little bit of goat fencing to put up. Let's go on outside here. So we got to put up some goat fence. Uh, we probably won't move the goats today. And then we've got to hook up a little miniature trailer to the back of the gator. And we're going to ride around and pick up a bunch of rocks and sticks. Doesn't that sound exciting, ladies and gentlemen? There are a ton of rocks and sticks that have to be picked up before we mow. And they have to be picked up before the grass gets too tall to find them. Or we go out there and we get chiggers, which are little bitty biting critters. So come on along. We'll have a little bit of fun today on the farm. We'll show you how we put up electric sheep and goat netting. So what we have up there is electric poultry netting and we'll tell you what the difference is and show you what I learned all right So we still got our free mower on the back of the truck here. I'll get it off tomorrow the next day. Not a big rush. We got a couple trucks, so it can sit back there. I actually thought about going on and taking the engine off of it while it's sitting in the back of the truck and then doing a full speed reverse slam on the brakes unloading. Could be fun. All right, so this is what we ordered. It's poultry netting. It's not poultry netting. It's sheep and goat netting and we're gonna throw that on the gator it's okay to throw it we learned a little something the first time we put the electric poultry netting or electric netting up and we'll teach you what we learned let's go have some fun ready let's do it so what we have here in the gator is similar to what we have the goats in right now and if you look it's this fencing right here I'll take you over here real quick so this type of fencing is called poultry net because it has really tight squares the goat fencing and the sheep fencing has larger squares than this now i know what you're thinking we got some chickens in here no big deal they'll be just fine they'll stay in the fence if they get out of the fence they'll find their way back in because they'll sleep where the goats sleep and the goats think we're going to bring them food so they're bad, bad so the first thing that i learned the best thing that i learned about putting up this netting this poultry netting or sheep netting or goat netting any type of electric netting is to make sure that the grass is only about that tall okay you can't put it up in tall grass and it's a royal pain in the butt to weed eat around where you're going to install it so our field the grass is nice and short now the goats will eat it down. We'll keep moving them throughout the field as the year goes on. Basically, the plan is to rotationally graze our goats in different parts of this field right here. I'll show you the field. So, this field back here. There's no use in me mowing it when I have lawnmowers already built into the farm, right? Now, all this type fencing is temporary, okay? The reason we're doing it is because it's temporary. We don't have new fences built here on the farm, and it's going to cost us somewhere in the neighborhood of ten to $15,000 to fence the farm. The farm doesn't have any fences right now. So in order to keep the goats off my neighbor's front porch, which that's where they ended up last year, we got to keep them fenced in. We got to keep a tight wrap on it. And hopefully this rotational thing will work. If you watch yesterday's vlog, you'll know that we're going to build a goat mobile, okay? So we're going to build a vehicle, basically, or a wagon to transport the goats around with. And we'll be able to put the hay on there and we'll be able to have the goats housed in the goat mobile. So it should be pretty cool. We'll feed them in the goat mobile and that way when we need to move them, we can just close the door and move them to where we want to go. At least that's the plan for now. So let's get this fencing laid out. So now I've got my assistant, Mrs. Stony Ridge, and she's going to help me get this stuff out of the box. Hold the box for me. There we go. Now this stuff is pretty lightweight. I'm going to say the whole 160 foot roll probably only weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of eh, 30 pounds, something like that. Let's slide this bag off. All right, so it comes with a protector right here. <laughs> and some other stuff that went flying. This is the spike that we use to stick it in the ground. First thing we're gonna do is open it up and lay it all out and then we're gonna go around and set it up. There's gonna be a whole lot of walking and talking here. I'm gonna walk up here, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna take this goat fencing and we're gonna get a start, basically stick one end in the ground and walk along as we go and stick the little stakes in the ground pretty darn simple so this is a learning process as we get this thing laid out you only set this thing up once or twice a year so you kind of forget what you did the first time but we're kind of learning it we're going to stretch it out here and then we're going to make a turn and go that way kind of fun you need to pull it snug post up there actually why don't you carry this okay 
All right, so I was wrong on the length. It's 164 feet long. This is our first section. And me and Mrs. Stony Ridge are gonna measure this section to see how long the section is. My guess is somewhere around 10 feet, two inches, something like that. That's my guess anyway, but we're gonna take the old trusty measuring tape and measure it up. All right, so they're 12 foot ish 12 foot 4 inches ish so what we need to do is a little bit of math divide it up and that way we get a full square so 12 foot divided into 164 is hold on 164 divided by 12. the answer is approximately 13.667 13.667 okay <laughs> so mrs stony ridge being the mathematician in the family says we need three posts on each side that's how we'll stretch it out just let it fly We'll the third one, right? Stop. We'll pull tight on this one. And we're going to go that way. Okay, so go that way. Go ahead. What you're not seeing is this stuff's pretty fun to set up. It's like an instant fence. It's like a fence in 20 seconds. That's three, right? Yep. Okay, i go that way. Let me give you a close up of how this fence goes in. So the basic gist of it is, you pull it tight, take your foot, kind of push it over tight, and then just smash this little thing into the ground. That's simple, pretty simple. And this is Stony Ridge, we'll drag it on up a little ways further. The better question is, are we square? We're probably not gonna be square. This looks square. Ish. So all the math work in the world isn't going to make this thing perfectly square, but it sure does look pretty. Right now we're just kind of straightening it up. So once you get one of these things set up, once you get this netting set up, you can make some minor adjustments as you need to. And then we'll go in, we'll set our corner post, and we'll take some regular fencing wire or electric fencing wire, and we'll pull our corners nice and snug and tight if they need it. They really don't need it at this point. It looks really good. Pretty happy with it. There'll be links down in the description below as to the fence controller that we use and the electric poultry netting here, the electric goat landing that we have. So there'll be links all down there in the description in case you want to pick some up. We figured something out while we're setting this up. We were trying to set up a square pin for the goats just for simplicity of moving them, but square isn't going to work. So this fencing is designed to be round it's not designed to be square because it would pull too much on one corner and cause it to collapse so we won't have to put up any kind of support for the corners because it's round and basically all the tension is evenly supported on each post pretty cool i'm glad we thought about that aren't you honey yes i am all right well we got our new goat area almost set up now we're going to go down and i've got a surprise for mrs stony ridge there's a little bit of lifting involved with the hooking up to this trailer. So hopefully she can lift it. I feel like she can lift it. It's just an empty aluminum toolbox. Should be easy. What do you think? One way to find out. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. All right guys, so this is the trailer that we're gonna hook to. Well, we've gotta get this off. This will eventually go onto the back of the silver Dodge truck. That's the trailer we bought for picking up sticks and rocks. This I'm told is an old foot locker, an old army foot locker that my neighbor gave me. It was sitting in his shed and we're somehow eventually going to mount this thing to the gator. The gator's getting ready to get some cool upgrades. This might be one of them. Awesome little toolbox to have with you. So you've been on the vlog for a year and a half and you've still never seen this thing. So this is a hundred gallon fuel tank toolbox combination that I bought from the Dodge dealership. I was at the Dodge dealership when I purchased my Cummins diesel and I went to the back lot and I saw all these toolboxes and bumper bars and and all sorts of truck accessories that were obviously taken off of trucks before they either went to auction or were sold on the lot. So they had a bunch of these toolboxes back there and I bought them for dirt, dirt cheap. I think this thing would cost you about 500 bucks. I bought it for $75 and I got another one back here I bought for 50 bucks. So this 100 gallon fuel tank is going to go on the back of the silver farm truck and that way we'll have a fuel source here on the farm and we don't have to run up and down the road getting fuel pretty good idea and it's a pretty nice toolbox so assessing the weight of this ugh, 
think it's going to be beyond the scope of Mrs. Stony Ridge's strength. She's standing over here beside me going, mm -mm -mm. maybe we better let her try to pick it up with me real quick just to see if she can lift it an inch. So let's try that. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a no. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. That would be a big, fat, juicy no. I'm going to have to get some man strength down here to lift this thing off. Either that or get the forks on the tractor to get it off. My initial plan was to take this little trailer here and go pick up rocks and sticks and stuff and clean up the farm with it. Well, as time went on, we cut the timber and I didn't need that trailer. And I was just going to mount the fuel tank to the trailer so I'd have a fuel trailer but I think I'd rather have it to pull behind the gator we've got a seat that we can mount in there since the gator's only a two-seater we could mount the seat in there and take people for rides on the gator on the trailer on the trailer gator gator trailer all right guys all this stuff is just character building exercise right here picking up rocks and sticks you know it's humbling it's a good thing it's character building it's fun really it's really really fun so the basic operation here is operation pickup sticks we basically and I missed basically we're just gonna cruise this field all the way back through here zigzagging back and forth and we'll cover a 20 foot area we'll pull up cover another 20 foot area and fill up the back of the gator and we've got a little bit of a fire started over here so me and mrs. Stony Ridge can cuddle up by the fire with our favorite adult beverage milk tonight Next. <laughs> well guys that's it that's gonna be it for the vlog today we're gonna get up sticks and put them on the burn pile and enjoy a nice little cozy by the fire in a little bit have a nice cold uh, beverage a hard-working man a hard-working woman's beverage you know I encourage you guys to drink milk because it makes you strong gives you strong bones and healthy muscles and healthy teeth and thanks a lot for watching Stony Ridge Farmer today guys give me a thumbs up click the like button Whee! there goes the camera the sun's going down it's getting dark we got to get busy click the like button please and thank you for watching today I hope you learned a little bit about the poultry netting I'll post links down below and we're gonna do some of the not so romantic part of farming picking up sticks all right thanks a lot guys we'll see you next time Woo! Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge bring your wife and bring your